Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ. Today, we got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farm Sim 22. Six days in a row, by the way. Today, four mods were released on the in game mod up. All platforms got one new and one update. Plus, we're going to look at another new one from Friday. And PC Mac players got two new. Of course, we'll look at each mod, including customization of features and those maps. That way, you can better decide what you want to download and what you don't. Starting off with a new map for all platforms with some really interesting stuff on it. This is Agricultural Land, aka Terra Agriculture. Whenever you're selecting your map, this is actually going to be found at the end of the map list and not the beginning. Look for it in the T's, not the A's. The map's got a lot of really cool stuff going for it, and it's good for farming or doing other stuff. I'll explain. So we have 212 fields. It's a lot of fields. Here's all your purchasable lands. Oh, so many. There's 241 of them, in fact. We have 14 different forestry areas on here. We have five farms, 30 points of sale, animal grazing, biogas. We have six ponds, placeable area, new crop textures for wheat, oat. We have canola, barley, and corn, new soil textures for plowing semi, whatever semi is, uh, lime and others, new activation logo. I have no idea what that means. Bulk storage, a rugby field, a karting field, and a motocross, motocross field, a karting circuit and motocross circuit. Got of neat. Taking a look at a few of those real quick, right here is going to be your rugby field, which is very, very cool. Also, I have cut out the center of it and painted down. Look. They have a Farming Simulator 25 logo and a Farms of 22 logo. <laughs> Can't do that again. That, one, that made my tummy hurt. How they got away with this, I'll never know, but uh, hey, it's it's here, isn't it? Moving over to basically the far right of the map, we have the carting area. So this will be good for small carts, stuff like that. I doubt you're going to be able to drive this super fast and do it well, but hey, we've got a little cart area, which is something very unusual that i don't know if we've seen anything much like that before and lastly down here at the bottom left ish we have the motocross circuit which looks pretty cool we got a place where you can pull in park your trailer that kind of thing and then <laughs> straight through here doesn't look like we've got anything kind of fun no jumps really nothing like that but it is a little circuit and it's made of dirt and it's on a hillside so You've got that. Again, a lot of stuff for farming, a lot of stuff not for farming, and a little bit for everybody. There's not any big fields, and it doesn't look like there's any square fields either. So maybe you like that, maybe you don't. That's the information I've got. And what you get in new farmer mode is this area right here, which is our farmhouse. Then we get farmland 8 and 12. That's going to be field 166. Wheat, of course. And then we have our main farm right here. We've got base game placeable buildings. That way... What's up, dude? <laughs> that way you can come in here and delete them if you want to, meaning that none of this has to be here if you don't want it to be. It's kind of nice. Those are combine harvesters parked out in front of a field. <laughs> I think it should be over here. And our house is right around the corner, right beside all the apartments. Hey, would have been nice if they would have made one of the apartments enterable in our own how about that? As for your growth calendar, here you can find that. And here's all of your brand new equipment. We have the Massey Ferguson 3709AL and the New Holland T6 in medium tractors. We have the 3670 and the 7810. And we have our Ross Smash, or Ross Smash Nova 330 combine harvester we also have a front loader as well from Schaefer. that's kind of neat and we have the pickup 2017 which is the agricultural land mod we'll take a look at those here in just a second we got a trailer header over here a power harrow which matches up with our cedar we've got a mower tether windrower and even a baler looks like they're using the k-branded stuff for all of that which is kind of neat but don't say it out loud on youtube then we have a bell trailer we got some stuff for taking care of animals front loader front loader tools header trailer and a weight coming down we can see we've got our mod section for the map itself and here's everything that we've got in there looks like the bucket i don't think the bucket really does anything different yeah there's that and then here's the equipment we do have the agricultural convoy logo on top of the pickup truck there looks like we've got a really interesting customization for the rugby field referee okay Never mind, I see I see now. And then over here we have the EFG S50 and the, the, the Manitou. I'm not quite sure what's different about those, but they're in there. And then we've got the Class Torian right here. Again, I'm not quite sure. Looks like maybe the paint is different, but I don't know. I'm not quite sure why these are in there. So no matter what, if you're playing on consoles or PC and you want to try out some of this new stuff that we've got on here, well, 
jump in and take a look. And one of the other great things is this map does not have any required mods. Not a single one. We do have one other new-ish mod for all platforms. This is the Supima Tool Holder 6M from Universe Simu Modding, aka Bruno. Uh, this mod was released on Friday. I'm releasing this video on a Monday, so I'm a little behind with it, mainly because it released hours after everything else. This is a cultivator, at least this specific part. We have three-point hitch on the front and Three point hitch on the back as well. Very cool there. 260 horsepower required, six meters at seven miles an hour. And if we jump over, we have a roller that can attach to the back. And this is also, uh, I assume six meters, but it doesn't say it, it is, it is an eight miles an hour. So you're going to be still going seven miles an hour if you use this. One of the neat things about this though, is you can also hook up some other stuff to it if you want to, because it's a three point hitch six meters well you can hook up a six meter seed or maybe a six meter fertilizer I don't, know, I don't know you could probably find something to hook up to this nonetheless very cool it's out you can even use the roller separately so rock and roll is that got a hitch on the back too it does doesn't it sure does we do have one update for all platforms it is the pancake production from yos modding aka uh well Mr. Awesome Yos. Yeah, is that his name? Seems like his name. Version 101 updated the 3D model for both pancake palettes and added pancake baler? Not butter, baler. Well, it is called the pancake baler, isn't it? Judging by the screenshot on the mod hub, this looks like it works with straw. We'll try with a few things here. It is picking up straw just fine. That's good. Turning on automatic bell drop. There we go. And we have a stack of pancakes. Of course we do. If I go into the power tools menu, it looks like we have hay, grass, and straw, which could be used with this. We'll select hay real quick and go ahead and unfold the bell. And it looks like we get a regular hay bell out. So there's that. If we do grass, I'm gonna guess that grass is just a normal bell as well. Grass is just a normal bell as well. But is it just straw? Is it just straw? Hang on a minute. There we go, straw. It's a pancake. <laughs> All right, well, if you want some pancakes, uh, I'm assuming you can sell these just like straw bells. Oh, and they're liftable. <laughs> Jumping over two new mods for PC and Mac players. We have two of them. The first is the map Ellerbach. This is from Moose Agra. It's got 179 fields, four farms, one BGA, many different forestry lands, owned new buildings and owned new textures. We also have multi-terrain angle or MTA, prepare for precision farming with new soil map, seasons map objects. We have many selling stations, animal dealer, collectibles, productions, and a new catch crop catch crop i'm not actually sure what that is let's take a look at this we've got the pda right here and this is your own land right through here including our main farm if we pop over there and see what we can find i'm stuck in a building aren't i oh all right i got out we're good <laughs> coming through here it is a very very nice main farm we got our buildings on the left cow barn on the left or buildings on the right cow barn on the left and then we've got some more buildings right over here and then an area up top where we can park a couple other things. So uh, very nice, neat. And I kind of like the way this is set up. Looks like we have a custom growth calendar as well. So some of you guys may be excited to see that. And we've got quite a bit of equipment as well in small tractors. We have the Valtra N and the Valtra G. We have the new uh, Deutz Far, no, we got New Holland, the Deutz Far Top Liner. And we have the Mahindra Retriever. And that's all of your vehicles. We do have a couple tippers. We have a header, we have a plow, cultivator, cedar sprayer fertilizer spreader we've got a couple mowers for front and back tether windrower and a forge wagon we've also got stuff for doing forestry front loader we've got some front loader tools not forestry related we have a header trailer and a weight heads up ellerbach does have some required mods we have the meadow fence pack small composite hall bunker silo with roof storage hall machine hall with workshop european decorative buildings pack deco chapel at bavarian barns and lastly we have the ursus t127 and the 127 plus these are going to be some round bale trailers 125 centimeter round bales is all they'll hold the smaller one holds eight we've got some options for colors you see there and then room colors of course we could change those as well and we have a license plate will brands bring us from trelleborg to bkt vertestein continental lizard and back in again and our larger one will hold 
Hell's Bells. These may look familiar because one of them at least was a base game piece of equipment back in the day, but no longer. And that is it. What an interesting day for mods. We got some racetracks, a rugby field with a Farm Sim 25 logo on it, pancakes, and so much more. Hope you enjoyed this one. Drop a like if you did. Get subscribed if you do. Join the Go Ahead fam. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way you never miss videos like this one here on the channel. We got a couple more for you today. Farm Sim News will be coming out a few hours after this. And then we've got a little April Fool's for you. I accidentally recorded a video wrong and turned out it was perfect for today. So keep a lookout for that. Otherwise, just have an awesome day. We'll see you later.